Hello, in this video I just want to talk about the dialogue that shows up if you've been working in a student version or you've received a student file and you want to continue working on something commercially and you've bought a license. Uh, so I've got a, an indie license up here and I've got an old file that uh, I'd worked on years ago. You can see it comes up with a, uh, this was created using the student version and uh, violation of the license agreement or whatever. But now I've got a full license. If I save this, uh, just do save, it's now number 15. And if I load that one up, you would think, okay, I've saved it with a licensed version, but this still shows. Um, I'm just gonna click continue. So what you wanna do is go to file, uh, file properties, click on custom, and you'll see here, uh, this license student text and you want to just delete that. Okay, so I'm just going to save it. Uh, I always save as increments so you can see uh, these. So if I go to 15, you see that. Okay, but if I go to now 16, oops, wrong one. Go to 16. You see it no longer shows. Now, I have no idea if this is a hack for student uh, license versions. Um, I don't know if it works that way, but I, all I know is that I've got a license and I just wanted to stop that pop-up. Uh, so all you want to do is file properties, custom, and remove that link. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.